All right, I'm not going anywhere. Every single one of you were called in for passing on the berm, passing in the middle. Every single one. It's my buddy. He's coming. I know exactly who he is. I'm not playing. It's not the one on the bike, though. You know how many times you guys were called in by murderers? Twelve. Jeez. Almost causing fatal crashes on my goddamn interstate. Twelve times. And then your boy wants to run. You want to tell me you don't know who he is? Every one of you is getting a reckless off citation right now. Give me your stuff. Get him back here, you can leave with a piece of paper. You don't get him back here, I'm taking your bike. Bullshit. Don't say that to me again. I don't care. Don't say it to me again. We rode here for a bike and I don't know Find out who he is. Motorcyclists are 50 times more likely to die in a crash compared to car drivers. And 5,500 deaths are caused by motorcyclists each year in America alone. When you really look at the stats, for every 9,000 guns owned in America, there is one death. But for motorbikes, this is far, far higher. For every 1,500 motorbikes owned, there is a death attributed. That makes motorcycles six times more deadly to own than a gun. In this video uploaded by the biker himself, with a rather arrogant title of nearly arrested for nothing, we see police detain a group of reckless drivers who had been called in on 12 separate occasions by different drivers from their incredibly dangerous driving on the motorway. They were weaving in between cars and driving well over the speed limit, all for a bit of fun risking countless lives in the process. It's safe to say that the cops weren't too pleased. So let's take a look. All right. All right. I'm not going anywhere. Shut him off. I got all four of them on the berm, up here at the top of the ramp. Give me the keys. So the funny thing we see here is the defense mechanism in action. The biker recording is clearly incredibly stressed. And when we get stressed, our sympathetic nervous system activates our fight, flight, freeze response. This fills our blood with chemicals like adrenaline and cortisol via the adrenal glands. As a result, your body is hypersensitive to everything around it. It's paying more attention to every little thing as the brain believes it's in an immediate threat to life. When he gets the phone call through his Bluetooth headset, he jumps because if we're attacked, reacting instantly is key to winning the fight. This natural reaction is exaggerated by the defense mechanism being activated, and it really helps us survive. Young seven six. Hello? What? ID. Yeah. Alright. Who's your buddy? It's still going. He's not my buddy. Who is he? We all just messed it up. Okay, who is it? Okay. The only person I know is. Yeah, probably. Um, can you call? Can you call, um,. What's his name? Yeah. Alright. Alright. Bullshit! I'll write a reckless off citation to every goddamn one of you. Every single one of you. So this cop's anger is totally justified here. Messing about on a motorway is one of the most stupid things you can do. 
and they clearly scared the crap out of a bunch of drivers. One or two complaints I can put down to people just having a thing against bikers, but 12 independent callers is just far too much. As for the cop's body language, he's immediately confrontational and does wide open gestures with his arms. This is to make himself look bigger and more intimidating. This is the sign of a high confidence individual and helps him assert his dominance over the bikers. Get your boy on the horn and get him back here. I'll write every single one of you. Every single one of you were caught in for passing on the burn, passing in the middle. Every single one. It's my buddy. He's coming. I know exactly who he is. I'm not playing. It's not the one on the bike, though. Not the guy on the bike. It was... Shit. No, no, no. I'm saying that he was asking me who I was on the phone with. Get his ass back here right now. I want all your IDs now. Yeah, he's got them. Don't lie to me. Don't lie to me. I don't want your explanation. I want his ass back here right now. Bullshit. You're getting a reckless off citation. That's what you're getting. I ain't looking at your shit. Give me your registrations and insurance and everything. Get it for me now. Helmet off. So if you want to see what submissive people look like, here you go. Basically, all the bikers have their feet tightly together with their hands in their pockets. They also pacify by rubbing their hands together. When we're submissive, we try to lower our posture to appear smaller and non-confrontational. We also put our hands in our pockets as a way to signify to others that we have no intention of using them, as they are our best weapons. It's a way of saying I'm not a threat to you. They also seem to avoid eye contact, which is confrontational. Compare them to the cop's body language and you will see the total opposite. You know how many times you guys were called in by murderers? Twelve! Jeez. Almost causing fatal crashes on my goddamn interstate. Twelve times! And then your boy wants to run, you want to tell me you don't know who he is? Every one of you is getting a reckless off citation right now. Give me your stuff. doesn't come back, every single one of these bikes is getting towed. Every one of them. For your reckless operation. Every one. Get, a hold get him get back, back here, here, you can leave with a piece of paper. Don't you know don't him. get him back here, I'm taking your bike. We don't know Bullshit. Don't, don't say that to me again. I don't care. Don't say it to me again. We rode here for a bike here, and I don't know yeah. Find out who he is, and one of you spray yourself. They are definitely avoiding eye contact here. And when the cop shouts at the bikers, one of them puts his hands in his pockets. This helps gives him comfort and also signifies to the cop that he's not challenging him. This is also why he avoids eye contact. Acting submissive is important as we're pack animals and the act of submission ensures that order is maintained in whatever group we're in. We display this body language to show others of our intentions. As when we were in our earlier stages of evolution, we hadn't developed language to begin to be able to communicate with them effectively. So this cop is well within his right to act the way he did. And this group of bikers scared the hell out of a bunch of drivers and drove completely recklessly. So thank you so much for watching the video. If you did enjoy it, please be sure to hit the like button and subscribe for more content. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.